Hey Killer Bean fans, I recently did a musical rescore for one of the episodes of the web series and I want to walk you through some of the decisions that went into that. So let's check it out. Look, I don't care who it is, but someone needs to pay us for our work. I've been moving crates from the blue shelf to the red shelf for the past four years and I want to be paid for it. Wait, so you've been moving crates from the blue shelf to the red shelf? Yeah. What? I've been moving crates from the red shelf to the blue shelf, and I want to get paid for it too. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second, Beans. How many of us have been moving crates from the blue shelf to the red shelf? Raise your hand. Okay. And how many of us have been moving crates from the red shelf to the blue shelf? You mean to tell me? All this time, we've been working twice as hard moving these crates? We should be demanding overtime! Before I did this rescore, there was no music in the scene and it just felt way too dry. So I thought I'd just give it a crack and see what kind of results I could get. All right, awesome. So let's check this out. How did we do this? Here's the project and I'm gonna just break it down real quick. So these tracks over here on the left are all of the instrument tracks. So I wanna give you three tips on how to compose music for picture like this. Tip number one, find the gaps in the dialogue to have significant little moments, little beats. Take a listen to how when the character stops speaking here, that's the moment you hear a little castanet sound in the woods. Take a listen. Years, and I want to be paid for it. Wait. As soon as he says, I want to be paid for it. Not sooner or later, no clashing with the dialogue. Tip number two, to create interest, take a musical passage and spread it out over various instruments. Over here, I've got a descending scale, which begins in a brass patch and ends in a piano patch, even though they're quite clearly part of the same musical passage. Take a listen. Wait, so you've been moving crates from the blue shelf to the red shelf? Yeah. What? I've been moving crates from the red shelf to the blue shelf, and I want to get paid for it too. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second, Beans. Tip number three, play the same part, a semitone higher, to increase tension. As this group of characters realizes they're wasting their time working, we hear the same piano, bass, and brass combination play once, and then again, uh, a semitone higher. Here's the effect. Okay. And how many of us have been moving crates from the red shelf to the blue shelf? Thanks very much for watching. That's about it. Subscribe if you like this type of track breakdown content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.